hair is wet. It's drying also. It's no longer green. He didn't like pop back in time. I just bleached my hair again. I don't know how I have hair still, but that's a different topic for a different day. Today's video, like you see in the title, what's this? What, what's that? Um, I'm going to be sharing with you how I create and make my labels for my candle. I get a lot of comments like, hey, can you tell me how you make your labels? How do you make your labels? Could you do a tutorial on making your labels? Sure, this is that. Um, it might not be as good as like someone else who makes this because look at me, but it's going to be as good as I can give you. And I'm also just going to like cut the shit. Like there doesn't have to be all this like extra shit. It's we're just making labels, okay? I think we can figure it out. One last thing before we get started. I got this helpful comment on my last video about the audio and that's what I've done. I'm not holding it. I'm not moving. That was like watching myself move like that made me uncomfortable. My microphone is sitting on the table. Hopefully the audio is fine. There's not, I don't know what else to do at this point if it is not fine. But if it is, hey, that's great. Let's get into the video. So there are three things you need in order to create labels at home, starting with a printer. This can be an inkjet or a laser printer. It's really up to you. Do your research. Um, this is the printer I have. It's not, I didn't buy it. My mom has it. So it's what I use. I want something that can just like print photo quality. Secondly, you're going to need sticker paper, obviously. Um, I will link down below onlinelabels.com, which is where I get my sticker paper. Not sponsored. Online labels sponsor me. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to sponsor me, I understand. They have a bunch of different kinds of sticker paper, which is really cool. My new favorite is one that I was trying out. It's clear gloss. My voice was shaking. I'm so excited. I love this paper. It's so cool. Um, I'll put in some clips of the candles I've made or the labels I've made with this paper. Like, don't waste your money on that really cool, expensive stuff. Start off with the matte paper. It's easy to figure out how to use. It's very affordable. Like, for 100 sheets, I think this was $25. You could upgrade to white gloss, which is shiny and glossy. It's very cool. I really enjoy it. However, I found that I have issues printing super dark colors with a lot of saturation. Black and green especially don't, it's a whole thing, it doesn't matter. Anyways, um, but this is also more expensive. I think this is $45 as well. Again, for 100 sheets, it's fine. It lasts me so such a long time, but I think the place that you're gonna get the most value is with the 100 pack of matte um, labels because even if you do mess up, you have so much paper and it's so cheap and affordable. 100% recommend. And then the final thing you need to make labels, I was gonna say a cutter or scissors, but I realize now that you probably need a design software more than you need a pair of scissors. Third thing you actually need is a design software, which brings me to my computer. I don't know why I thought that was funny, but I did. Like I said, we need a design software to design our actual labels to make this. We're not going to make this. We're going to make something cooler because we're cool and we're creative. Um, so if you do buy from online labels, your purchase comes with a year trial or a year membership to um, online labels like partner design software, which is called My Maestro, I think. A lot of people use that. I don't. But, like, it's really up to you. Do some um, research, some trials and errors, some trying out yourself. Find out what you like best and stick with that. Okay, so this is what I use. I know a lot of people have that fancy ability to, like, screen record their screen and, like, make it what you're seeing. Uh, I don't have that ability. I'm sure I could figure it out, but I, I don't know how. But this is the website I use. This is canva.com. It's literally so simple. It also like caches all of the designs I've ever made. Um, I use it for literally everything, even school assignments, which is super cool. So you're gonna create a design. And this is, um, I'm gonna share the specifics of how I create my labels. Maybe you wanna try out different sizes and things like that. That's totally up to you, but this is what I do. So I do custom dimensions and I do three by 1.5 and you wanna change pixels to inches. 
And there you have your template that you're going to start designing on. Oh my god, Adam Sandler's face has just been in there the whole time. He's staying. So for example, I'm currently working on a anime-inspired collection of candles. So I will show you how I go about creating this. One of the candles that I'm super excited for is inspired by Zoro from One Piece, which is this fine looking man. Just ignore all that stuff popping up about him because I do a lot of searching. Clearly, literally all of these searches are about him. My god, let me get a grip. So here he is. This depends on what you want to- whoa, sorry for my raspy voice. It depends on how you want to create your labels. It can be something very simple. Like, again, I'm just pulling this because it's easy. A color and the text, which is like what a lot of people do. Sometimes you want to involve things that are more specific to the candle, like pictures, um, which in that case, it's very beneficial to find a transparent or one with a solid background. I think I'm going to choose this picture. I'm going to drag it onto my desktop and then drag it onto my design and it's going to download. So in order to remove the background, you go to effects and background remover. It's very simple and it's going to get rid of whatever background is in your image. So now we just have the picture of my favorite person. Well, it just depends on your brand and what you want to create. For this candle, I want to do something very close to his hair color. Um, this is where you have to be creative and come up with a design that you like. You head over to the text box. Just click one and then up here you can go through literally all the fonts, which there's a fucking shit ton of. Um, these crown ones are for the Canva Pro users, which I am a part of. It's $12.95 a month, and at this point that's a very beneficial uh, expense for my business because I use a lot of these fonts. I like a lot of them. This one I really love, but it's actually not. A, it's actually a free one, so you can use it too. So then I like to do the title of the candle. I'll do either the scent description or like a quirky candle description. And then I'll put books, taps, and wicks, which is the name of my business at the top. Because hello, I want everyone to know where their candle is from. Duh. Um, so basically, you need to design your actual label. I can't walk you through this. I cannot. You can do it. I believe in you. And so I'm going to do it because I believe in me. done designing your label this is what i've come up with i love it but i'm biased because i also just really love this man what the hell now that you're done designing your label what you need to do is download and export it i use google docs to print my labels i find that it's the easiest just because i know how to use it um i have a separate so i literally use the same thing to print all my labels which you can see right here, but I keep track of the different sizes of labels I have in this document, which has a bunch of different sizes, but for the sake of this video, um, this is how I make my four ounce labels. So we are going to insert the label we just made. Um, like I said, bind them at three and one half but the size that I print them at actually is 3.4 and 1.7. So do with that, do with that what you will. That's just the size I've found works best. I design them one way and they get formatted and printed a different way. Use the same size too if you want. All you have to do, click on your image, go to these three dots, go to size and rotation, and then here you have width and height, which you can put at 3.4 and 1.7 or any size that you want. You can put any size that you want here in case when you um, download it and then put it onto a Google Doc, it doesn't format the correct size. You can always check or change it here, which is super beneficial. And that's something I honestly did not learn until recently. So 
that's how, that's the really the basics of it. I hope that was clear, um, because now what you're going to do is fill up your Google Doc sheet with labels that you want to print. Once you have your sheet filled up, what you're going to do is go to File Print, <clears throat> and then after you've selected your printer, go to More Settings, scroll down, and do Print Using System Dialog. That will take you to a different window. I'm not sure what yours looks like. This is what mine looks like on my PC using Windows 10, if that helps. I don't know. Some people might be using a Mac. In that case, you know, kind of use the general idea of this. But you're going to go to Preferences, and here's where you can choose the paper. You don't want to print on plain paper. Um, honestly, I found that using uh, uh, photo paper settings works best. So if you're using glossy paper, click glossy. If you're using matte, use matte. I'm going to print two sheets of this, one on glossy and one on matte so that I can show you the difference. So here we go, everyday photo paper glossy. Print quality, we're gonna leave at normal, and then we're gonna click okay. And then you do the same thing for the matte paper. But your labels are printed, or now that my labels are printed, I can show you the difference. So here's the glossy label. As you can see, they have a nice gloss to them. Um, and then here are the labels printed on the matte paper. Um, the reason I have both and not just one is because I like the way super dark labels look on matte paper better than they do on glossy paper. And also, I've had a problem with them scratching off recently. But a way I've found of remedying, remi, rem, oh my god, remedying? A fixing let's just say fixing a way I found of fixing this problem where they rub off is to actually let them dry for a full day um, sometimes that's kind of inconvenient because you might need a label right away but if you have that problem where they're scratching off or rubbing off it's probably because the ink hasn't fully dried and sometimes I find that literally sitting them in the box of paper like just face up for a whole day then, and then, then the next day they are fine and don't rub off. See, on the matte paper, these super dark labels pick up so much more detail. Um, also a big tip, don't use fake inks. I know it might be tempting because it's cheaper, but I promise you, just like don't do it. <laughs> Literally don't do it. So, it's really up to you what labels you want, but that's how I make mine. We're at the end of the video. That was a full explanation, tutorial, showing of. I don't know. I hope that was helpful. I think... I mean, I did my best, like, I shared with you all the details that I have on how I make my labels. After you print them out and wait for them to dry, you cut them out and put them on your candle. Um, of course, you can experiment with, like, design, color, font, and actually you probably should experiment with those things to get a sense of how you want your labels to look for your brand. So I hope me sharing how I make my labels helped you in some way understand how to make your labels. If you have any more questions about labels, let me know because I'm not, I don't, I don't make tutorials. I don't really know how to help people. Um, so I hope that me sharing this helped you in some way and that it was what you were looking for. If not, I'm so sorry. Truly, I'm so sorry. I couldn't help you more. Uh, but there's a lot of good tutorials out there that I'm sure are more eloquent than mine. However, like, you're on my channel, nothing is eloquent here. I couldn't, I couldn't even say the word, word um, remedy correctly a few minutes ago. So, like, you know, you get what you pay for. And while you're not paying, you are receiving the gift that is me. <sighs> See? No shame. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Also, oh my god, last... Okay, just oh my god. First of all, we're very close to like having 250 subscribers, which like again, okay, not a lot, but it is a lot. 250 people is a lot, so thank you for subscribing. Last video was my Etsy vlog. I uploaded it and I had like 230, and now we're at 240, which is a lot to go up in after one video. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if this wasn't entertaining. I was just trying to help the people who asked me how I make my labels. Um, this is how. Sticker paper, Canva, design, print, cut, stick. Six simple steps, and I think anyone can do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed Adam Sandler in the background of this video. If you didn't, I don't care. I did. I love Adam Sandler. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I'm so sorry. Like I said, um, I hope you stick around. Leave a comment if this was actually helpful or if it wasn't. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Leave a comment if you want to see any other type of video. Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching. Dab on your haters. Thank you.